Hi everybody, Susie here, and I have a surprise. Yay! I finally broke the bank and I got a webcam. It's not that I don't have one on my computer. I actually have two of them. I have a MacBook Pro laptop with a webcam, and I have a 27-inch Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt from Apple with a webcam. But I wanted something that I can be able to move around and record videos uh, from my desk, like just showing you what I made, or uh, chit-chatting, or hauls, or most importantly, tutorials. I'd like to start doing those, and I really needed something that I can have that can be um, basically uh, looking down at my work. So here's something that I made I really wanted to share with you, this really beautiful uh, Marie Antoinette tag. Um, you should be able to see this very clearly now. Um, this is an autofocus camera, so I'm kind of really excited. Um, what I had done was here is I used a lot of products from Lili's store called Shabbylicious on Zibet.com. And the base of this tag is using her beautiful um, vintage dictionary paper, I believe. Uh, I believe it was dictionary paper. I'm not really sure, but I know it was a vintage paper absolutely beautiful it's already like old looking so it's totally up my alley I just etched all around with some vintage photo just to give it that that little bit of an antique look and once I did that I took this um, old picture that I had of Marie Antoinette and I just adhered that down right on top of a piece of lace that overlays the um, old paper which you can see that here and here Okay, and then I had taken some of Lily's corners, which I think she's carrying these in a silver now. Very pretty. And I used some of the uh, Zibet store from uh, Shabbylicious store laces here that I cut up. Really, very beautiful. And right here on this one, if you can see it, um, there is a clear acetate leaf there. And that has a piece of that rhinestone trim that she's carrying now, just absolutely gorgeous, which I also put right here um, around this cluster of um, a mulberry rose and um, some of those really pretty porcelain flowers with a pink rose in the center. And then on the other side here, I have some of these really pretty uh, mulberry paper roses along with um, the uh, cabochon rose doodads that, that Lily carries just really pretty and you can see there's her laces here really beautiful and over here and there's another lace underneath here too this round piece of lace just for, for an accent I love the way that it laid down together so nicely and then I, I had actually dyed um, the these little hearts it comes on a strand and um, those were avocado dyed a couple weeks back I was doing that, I was sharing that, along with this avocado dyed uh, white vintage seam binding and a shabby-licious button center, which are great for flowers, but I wanted a big pearl up on top there uh, with some more of these um, uh, little roses here and some lace underneath. I just wound up laying the lace down and just cutting off the edges. Very elegant, very Victorian, yet has a, a vintage flair to it really pretty and the um, the seam binding I just gathered in bunches and I uh, just to let you know I mean I know I've mentioned this all over Facebook and I know I've mentioned it like all over the place and a video also but some of you don't get a chance to watch videos for days at a time so when you watch mine I just want you to know that when you go on over to the store and get some of these things for yourself please know that if you spend $15 or more at the store, you will get a 10% discount off your entire order. So if you spend $50, $75, $100, dollars you will get 10% off of that, which is an awesome deal. So Lily has some really beautiful things. She really, really does. And her prices, I have to say, is a crafter uh, who myself looks for bargains. And uh, when I want to buy new things, I want them to be beautiful, quality, beautiful and good quality and also something that I can afford to use and that is definitely at Lily's shop. Hi Lily! I hope you like my tag honey. Well at the back of this tag it's just it was basically um, it doesn't look all pretty or anything like that but at the back of this this was just a plain piece of um, a plain piece of cardstock that I put together and um, 
I don't know what happened there. Plain piece of cardstock that I put together um, and cut the edges to make it look like a tag. And there you have it. It's a really, really cool Marie Antoinette vintage tag with a Victorian flair. Very pretty. I hope you all like it. Um, in the drop down box below, uh, you'll see uh, all the items and links that were used in this video, uh, along with other places to find me online. Um, and also, I would really love to know your input on what you think of my new webcam. Okay, thanks so much for popping in, guys, and I'll see you again. Bye.